what it looks like to take a bike ride through Gaza today. It's been six months since the conflict between Palestinian militant group Hamas and Israel began. Before that, the tiny enclave run by Hamas was impoverished and densely populated, but full of life. Reuters took bicycle rides along Gaza's ruined streets to gauge the destruction left by Israeli strikes, launched after the October 7th Hamas attack. A young boy sits on a pile of rubble holding a broken mirror in northern Gaza. People walk carrying bags of food amongst the destroyed buildings in Gaza City. And men sell desserts on a crowded street near the border in Rafa. Israeli airstrikes have killed more than 33,000 people in retaliation for Hamas's attack on Israel, which left 1,200 dead and more than 200 people taken hostage, according to Israeli tallies. Over 2 million people lack medicine and food, and the United Nations has warned of a looming famine. Many live in shelters or tent cities after moving from one part of the enclave to another, trying to escape the relentless bombardment. Israeli officials say they have increased aid access to Gaza, but that they are not responsible for delays. They say it's the responsibility of the UN and humanitarian agencies. Israel has also accused Hamas of stealing aid, a charge Hamas denies. My name is Basma. I am a 20-year-old from Gaza, displaced in Deir al-Bala. I was studying accountancy in my second year at university, but now I sell hummus. I had to work, not because I wanted to be in this line of work, but because my father passed away, and my siblings too, so I am supporting my family financially. I am taking care of my family, and right now, I'm preparing the hummus. The circumstances are of course very difficult. I am displaced in a school here and even gas is not available at all. I use the fire. Everything that I need to heat up, I heat up on the fire. I face a lot of problems with the ingredients I need for the hummus. For example, the bread takes a while from the bakery. The chickpeas are expensive. Tahini, a kilogram of tahini is now 120 shekels. It's also very expensive. I buy the ingredients in the morning. After I buy the ingredients, I come here and I prepare it all. I start work at 6 in the morning and I finish at, say, 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock, and I don't go home until the evening. אני שומע פיצוץ חזק שנמצא בתוך היישוב, ותוך כדי הם מקבלים טלפונים, יש פגיעה ישירה בתוך היישוב שלנו. הגענו למקום, ראינו הרס גדול מאוד של הבית, ולשמחתי מצאנו אישה שהיא נמצאת בחרדות, ברוך השם לא נפגעה מהטיל, למרות שהטיל אפילו חדה לתוך הבית. זה אונס גדול מאוד, אין ספק.
это остановит.
चलतीस